All right, we're gonna reshuffle some fish today. We're having problems with the Feifang, the Feifang, the flagtail Proculotus in the 1800 gallon. He's been sustaining more and more damage over time. Rips in the in the fins. Some abrasions or possibly bite marks on the on the head. And week after week it increases. So I don't want to risk him anymore. I don't know who is doing it, probably the big perch. Most likely the uh, the largemouth bass, of course, is the primary suspect. This guy also sporting up nice rips in his tail, but I'm not too worried about him yet. So uh, I'm gonna have to take out that flag tail. That's our only big flag tail. We lost uh, the one that was like foot and a half or 20 inches even. Female a few years ago. The one that's remaining is a male. We've had him for about six years, I want to say. Got him little. So I'm gonna, gonna take him out and I'm thinking I'm gonna try him. I think I'm gonna try him in this tank of semi-aggressive fish or assertive fish. I have several options, but this seems to be a good first approximation fit. So he's going there. Uh, it took me half an hour to catch him with three nets. 1800 is very hard to catch fish out of from. Yeah, I thought about it. He, uh, this fish spent six years in the 1800 gallon, so we must have gotten him before that. So he's a rescue from seven or eight years ago. Okay, get used to your new home. I know this is this tank is kind of overstocked, a lot of fish in there, but this I think this is the best fit in terms of the temperament of all the tank mates and the way they feed and everything. So um, hopefully he'll be alright here. Okay, everything is wrecked and wet here. I need to clean up and move on to the next shuffle. The next shuffle will be actually the uh, true spotted tiger shovel nose catfish inside this fake log. He's he broke 18 inches a while ago, so he's he's ready to go to get a upgrade to the 1800 gallon out of this 240. And he's a danger to some of his tank mates, like the smaller uh, tigger and the tigs. He could take him. So, uh, if he wanted to, he never tried, but I don't want to wait for it. So, he's gonna go into the 1800 gallon. Alright, the monster is in the net. Now, I need to transfer him into this plastic bag. I'm doing this alone, so I have only two hands. I'm gonna have to. Save the filming for when I have free hands. Alright, the monster's in the bag. He's very dramatic, lying on his side. Oh no, what are they doing to me? Are they gonna just put me on the frying pan? Yeah. Alright, sweetie. Go ahead. Hopefully you like it. This this tank is a little warmer, which makes me a little concerned. This tank is about 85, 86 right now. He came from the cool tank, from the cool set of tanks, which is running at uh, 82, 84. Right now 84. So we'll see. But there is your long-awaited upgrade. Mr. Coruscant's. I forgot what we decided to call him. Widmer, right? Chase Widmer gave him to me. So we're gonna call you Widmer in Chase's honor. Now 
Now you can spread your wings a little bit. He gave me a pretty good fight in the in the net, but then he he, he got winded and there was not not, so, not much fight putting him in the in the in the sack. So it was nice. Okay, the third transfer of the day are the two smallest alleged true Brazil Piraiba from this tank. You can appreciate the disparity in sizes. The three of them are much, much bigger. See this dark one, this one and that one. But then look at that guy. He's a dwarf next to them. And the second smallest had his tail removed almost last week. When I skipped two days feeding this tank, I thought I'd give him a fast. It didn't work so, so well for this little guy. So two of them are gonna go out. I'm gonna have to catch him out of here. And put him in the tank where Widmer, the Coruscants used to be, right here. I think it's a good fit for this tank. We'll see how that goes. With all, well, there's five Tigs in there, so. Brachyplatus stomach don't like each other, but Tigs are hiders, sort of. They like to stay in the furniture, and the Piraiba, they don't care about furniture at all. So they'll be swimming out in the, in the open. And that's what I'm banking on. Okay, we got the little guys. Not so little. This is a bigger one. This is a standard five gallon bucket with exactly 10 inches on the bottom. He cannot fit there with his tail, so I, I'd say he's 12, 12, 13 inches tip to tip. This is the smallest. He fits quite fine in here, so he looks about 10 inches. All right, boys, you're gonna go into the into your new home. Those. Well, we got some cleanup to do. It's got a little messy, a lot of splashed water and wetness everywhere. So we'll check, we'll check back on the three of them a little later. One of the main reasons I put the flag tail here is because in small tanks they tend to be bullies, selective bullies to other fish, even fish that don't look at all like them, like catfish sometimes, but in this tank it's, it's an assertive tank so that's why I put them here. Anyhow, it's been about a couple hours, so far so good, the Fei Fang is getting accustomed. I've seen the Leporinus give him a little nip. They didn't like his appearance so, too much, but they don't pursue him or anything. So he he runs away and he runs away and he he's safe. Widmill the Coruscants in the eighteen hundred. I don't know where he is, he was just there. Oh, there he is. Doing well, nobody's bothering him. So that looks promising. And finally, the two Piraiba. They're stressed, of course. There's the bigger one and the smaller one. They're sitting in one spot recuperating, getting the strength back. I need to turn off the light and let them relax. 